Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy, disgusting mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Babies! Welcome! Oh my god, hi! I don't know where my air horn is. It's somewhere in boxes. <laughs> Welcome to new makeup nonsense bingo. This idea was crafted by my wonderful friend Imperfectly M. Essentially, this is a new makeup release video, except instead of just merely talking about the products, I call upon them as if I am playing bingo. I use a random number generator. I have a couple of adult libations, keyword couple, <laughs> and I read products to fill or incessantly love them, sometimes both. And if we're real lucky, I'll get drunk enough to buy some. I know the last time uh, we saw each other, well, if we're gonna talk about like an actual proper film video, I said, this is the last makeup bingo and it was because I was moving and then last week I did a live version which by the way thank you all for those that showed up or watched the replay it was a lot of fun um I'm still reeling from it <laughs> and I wanted to kind of uh, make mention of this just in case if you didn't see uh, my video on Monday the format for makeup bingo will always be like this traditional video hi how are you but every other month on one random Friday, we're gonna do it live. And we're gonna have special guest stars every time we do it. <laughs> Mostly just Michelle Wong. <laughs> Someone gotta call Michelle. Okay, anyway. That said, since I'm in a new home, I figured, you know what? Why don't we make some small upgrades to the bingo card? But before I show you, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know I can't shut up about Factor. I really can't. I am in love with them. There I said it, I'm in love with them. It, it's no surprise really. I feel like I protest my love for them every chance I get. But the reason why I love them so much is because they make eating well so easy. Y'all know that I've embarked on this little health journey since last year, and nothing brings me more joy than knowing that Factor is helping me stay on track. With over 35 weekly options, you're getting chef crafted and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast or brunch or elevensies, lunch, second lunch, afternoon snack, high tea, supper, dinner, second dinner. <laughs> Desserts, midnight snack, you get the idea, okay? Factor will be holding your hand for the entire day. So, funny story, okay, right before we moved on a random gross Friday, our stove died. And can I tell you, I was sad because it's not like just the oven was dead. No, the whole thing, okay, we couldn't even use like the range part. Everything was dead. And then it hit me. I didn't have any factors in my fridge because you see kids, well, yes, they do sponsor me. I'm also a customer and I have a weekly standing order that comes on Mondays. So I ate all my meals that entire week. And the next time that I wasn't going to see that beautiful factor box was until Monday. What am I to do? Okay. <laughs> so because of that, I had to venture outside. I had to venture into the cold, okay? I almost said I was gonna hunt for food, but I, I, it didn't get that dire, thankfully. <laughs> but what's out there in these streets? Come closer. Closer. Okay, not that close, back up. Okay, <laughs> you don't need to be in my mouth. What's out there is truly terrifying. Truly terrifying to know that you're spending so much money on garbage. <laughs> Garbage, okay? Not this kind of garbage, okay? This is the fun garbage. No, it's just garbage out there. It's wild that Factor is less expensive than takeout, and the fact that every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious, and the best part, ready in just two minutes. It truly blows my mind. That said, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code TERESASDEAD50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Again, that's factor75.com or click the link below and use code TERESASDEAD50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Thank you again to Factor for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen and get yourself a good meal or a snack or something for elevensies. Whatever your heart desires, you're welcome. Before I show you the products that we may or may not be talking about, let me show you the new card. Shh. 
She's everything you want and more. I basically wanted this card to be a fever dream and <laughs> a drunk fever dream. And I feel like I've successfully done that. So here's our new lineup. We have some old ones and then we have some new ones, which by the way, I want to say thank you to those that have suggested this in the past. I love and appreciate your faces. Okay, so the first one we have is Drunk Me Would Buy It, a Total Ann palette. Bitch, I already bought it. A food themed makeup item, skincare, new brand alert, you're alive, it's stupid, and I want it. Oh, makeup revolution, gaslighting me. I'm buying it for science, cash grab, color pop. <laughs> ah, that little graphic kills me every time. All the multi chromes, copy and paste, she's a catfish. Someone call Michelle Wong, nostalgia, I'll buy it on sale. Great, more Disney, clown purchase, and don't f it up. Hot garbage, put it on my face, and a product that won't die. I hope you enjoy what this card is. It was a lot of fun creating it. And again, thank you to those that have suggested some new bingo squares. And of course, you know, thank you to uh, Emily. Emily was the one that birthed out this idea. And I've been riding Em's coattails ever since. And uh, without it, I couldn't appreciate it. So thank you so much, Em. And if you want to check out Emily, I'll leave down all of her information down below. That said, here are the makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. I know I did that a little bit backwards because now I want to say like, here's my bingo card, <laughs> but we already did that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I am drinking out of my handy dandy trusty slime cup from Starbucks because we just love a, just a good Halloween moment, even in February. <laughs> And what I'm drinking is a little bit of emotional damage from Gamer Subs mixed in with some Tito's vodka. Why? Because I love Tito's. Delicious. And a little strong, but delicious. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me get myself situated here because I have my iPad. Let me get my cellular phone. My cellular phone. Who the f talks like that? <laughs> my cellular telephone. All right, let's see. What is the first product we have? Ah, something I already bought. <laughs> so this is, okay, I don't know how I feel about this product. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Hyper Natural Face Palette. So f cheesy. I hate the name of it. But anyway, if you ever wanted to try Natasha Denona and you wanted to save 15% off, use the code <sighs> garbage. And you could do that. Or don't. I don't really give a what you do. Anyway, so when I first saw this, I was like, okay. And then I thought about it. I was like, oh, she's kind of ugly. And then I'm like, mm, I kind of want it though. <laughs> because you know me, I'm a glutton for punishment, especially when it comes to Natasha Denona. When am I not a glutton for punishment? Half the time, all of it is bullshit anyway. And it, it just makes me hate myself even more. And listen, I'm always down to hate myself a little bit more. So that's why we're trying. <laughs> but I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like this is going to be good. I don't know. I feel like I'm turning over a new leaf with Natasha. And it's not just because I have an affiliate code with them. <laughs> <sighs> but hey, I do have student loans. If you want to pay them, Natasha, girl, go for it. <laughs> mm. Anyway, this seems really interesting because it's all powder. And it's not like powder and cream. So I'm like, oh, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I kind of like that. And I like that you get a little bit more of a variety in the sense that you get a nice like, little contour palette and then you get a nice little blush duo. And I'm very curious to see what the quality of those are going to be like because if they're anything... Do I actually have any powder? I feel like I definitely... I don't know, actually. I, I come to think of it, it's like I feel like all of my products for Natasha Denona, I feel like are mostly cream based mostly cream based okay now i have to like think about this <laughs> because i think i don't think i've ever tried other than like the powder contour thingy i feel like all the blushes i've ever tried were cream i don't know i gotta think about that a little bit more but anyway kind of based off of that itself it intrigued me but then i also kind of like i kind of love the color story it's it's so just basic and bull <laughs> And it's just kind of my my bread and butter at this point. Now it looks like all of the shadows pretty much have some sort of like silky kind of a quality. I don't think there are any mattes. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Hold on. Let me just make sure. Let me verify. Let me fact check that. When it comes to like Natasha Denona, I don't. What are, what are the little SW? Okay, so SW is sparkling wet effect. Okay, so there are, okay, one sparkling wet effect. <laughs> what is an HS? High shine, I'm assuming, right? Hyper silk. Okay. You know what? I love how I'm like literally reading the f description and I'm like, oh, what is HS? Okay, high shine. No, it literally says hyper silk. I need to go f lady. <laughs> and keep drinking clearly. Oh my god, all right. So actually, probably, you know what would be helpful if I read the description of this? Uh, includes eyeshadow, <laughs> uh, eyeshadow, blush duo, bronze and contour trio, features four new hyper silk powder gel formula eyeshadows infused with hydrating ingredients named after moods and occasions that can be used individually or together and one sparkling topper. Creamy powder, bronzer, and contour trio, blush duo, 62 bucks. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. This just seems definitely interesting and different. And I have to say, out of all the high-end brands, looking at you, Pat McGrath, which is literally like same new packaging every other month at the, actually not even every other month it's every month at this point it's getting to be too much they are the new color pop of the luxury world actually even color pop slowed their roll down so it's not i can't even say it's color pop i guess makeup revolution we ran hip dot out of town so you can't blame it on them anyway at least natasha is trying to do something different and i can appreciate that while it is I don't know, kind of ugly, kind of cool, kind of bold. And I am excited that when it does show up, I'm intrigued to try it. So I did purchase it and I'm waiting for this little bitch to show up and I think it just got shipped out. So hopefully sometime next week you'll see it. If not, eh, whatever, you'll see it the following week, whatever. <laughs> But in any case, this is going to be available uh, actually by the time that you see this video on the 23rd at your local Sephora and Ulta. And I'm pretty sure it'll probably be like an online only thing because I feel like that's usually what happens with Natasha's palettes until like about a month from now where it starts to be available in stores. So in any case, expect a review whenever the it shows up. And uh, yeah, I guess on my bingo card, bitch, I already bought it. Next. Okay, listen, I couldn't, I couldn't resist, okay? <laughs> By the way, everybody and their mother uh, <laughs> was like pointing this out to me and commenting, <laughs> tagging me. I probably had like over a hundred people between like tags and messages and all kinds of being like, hey, did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this? And of course he did. I'm fat. Of course I saw this. And I am so excited for it. <laughs> so our good friends over at Nails Inc. I love how I say it's our good friends. Like, they're okay. They're like average nail polish at best. But anyway, our friends over at Nails Inc. is coming out with a new collab with McDonald's. And I wish I could say this is the first time I've ever seen like a nail collab with McDonald's. But no, bitch, this is the second. Because I do have, <laughs> I do have some nail polish that is a McDonald's collab. And it was actually from Europe. And a lovely subscriber actually found them for me. We exchanged funds. I received the package. I ha actually have never used said nail polish because it's like, it's a gimmick at this point. But you know what? I think we should. So I picked this up solely for the purpose that I was going to do Alex's nails because I've been wanting to do his nails for a very long time now. And now I'm like, we have no choice because in this set, which by the way, you have to purchase everything separately. So it's not like one big bundle, which is very nice. Not complaining. You get the Burger Mini Nail Polish and Sticker Duo. $8.99, okay. Inspired by the ultimate McDonald's order, a Big Mac. 
I mean, I say nuggets, but okay. Don't disrespect my son, Big Mac, like that. Too many nails, you have got a ketchup, which is a ketchup bread, and Big Mac, please, a burger brown. <laughs> Sign me the f up, all right. <laughs> and then you have fast food stickers, burgers, fries, and their signature golden arches. I love capitalism, I really do. And now I get to have it on my nails. Then you have the fries, nail polish, and sticker set, also $8.99, inspired by the unmissable side of any McDonald's order. I'm sorry, Mickey D's order, the fries. Got a ketchup nail polish for ketchup bread and fun fast food stickers. And then you have the I'm loving it, that ba da ba 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 <laughs> Oh God, it's McDonald's. Anyway, it's described as the gold heart nail topper, also $8.99, inspired by the famous McDonald's slogan, a nail polish topper with shimmering gold hearts to apply over any nail polish. And then they have the I press French, wow, I read that really up. <laughs> I'm like, what did I say? I speak French press on nails, $6.99. And yeah, I did buy that too. Packed in the signature brown bag, Bitch, I can't. My stomach is quaking for this. This shape set includes 30. I got two of them. Oh man, I'm excited. I got 60 nails. Ah! Medium almond shaped artificial nails and a classic nude pink, plus a selection of fry print nails. Ah! Okay, this is what we're gonna do. It definitely shipped, and as soon as I get it, that is the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm going to stop everything in my life. I'm going to literally call out sick from work. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sick because I need to put press on nails on my husband. I'll leave the last line out because then they're gonna do a wellness check on me. And I mean, listen, rightfully so. But the point is, we are gonna do this because it would be so f***ed up of me not to do this. This is the collab that everybody wanted, okay? <laughs> this is it. This is where I jumped the shark, okay? I've already jumped the shark, but anyway, point is, this is, this is my Super Bowl. <laughs> God, or whatever sports analogy you want to use. I love this. Uh, again, Nails Inc. is is it's just okay. As there wasn't anything like super fun or amazing about the other um, nail polishes that I've ever picked up from them, but I can appreciate that they do these very weird collaborations. You know, we had Velveeta, which that was it's toxic, it's toxic. Then we had Fruit Loops, and now we have this. And I just, I love it. I love it. It's so stupid it's like nostalgia but it's also comforting and delicious like it's everything that i want it to be and it's so f stupid that i absolutely love it it's great so thank you to everybody and their mom for <laughs> shouting this out to me i sincerely appreciate it i really do and i also am kind of curious now because i think this is going to be like my third red shade from nails ink so i'm kind of curious to see if there's any differences. This is definitely a more of an orange red. Well, I think those are more kind of, I guess, like blue. Well, one I feel like was more of like a blue red. The other one was a little bit mm, kind of orangey. I'm curious. Anyway, I, I want to see if they actually are the same or, or there's like a hair difference. But in any case, I want to try these. But I also want to try the other nail polish. I think, I, I think they're from Austria, if I'm not mistaken. And they are cute. I'm going to, they're somewhere in a box. I don't know where that is right now because everything is still, like I said, it, it's still very much a work in progress. And that's why I didn't even do my nails because my fingers are just so jacked up and f***ed up and I hate them. But if I can find it, I'll insert a picture right here. Um, it's a very different style, but I love that. The nail sink is more of like a classic McDonald's. And of course the other one just kind of just reminds me of, of McDonald's when I went to Europe. So I love that they're completely two different aesthetics and I think we need to use both. We need to use both. We need to see which one's better. And I feel like definitely not American McDonald's. <laughs> American McDonald's will kill you basically. <laughs> but it is delicious though. In any case, I am beyond excited. And as soon as this shows up, I'm gonna stop everything that I'm doing just to make sure this video happens. Because if it doesn't, I'm giving y'all full permission to attack me with a pitchfork, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. you feel free to cook me, it's okay. All right, anyway, uh, this is a food themed makeup item. <laughs> Next. So next product is, ah, speaking of another food themed makeup item, but not really, because it's inspired by weed. <laughs> or hemp seeds, sorry. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Hydrating Sheer Tempted to Tip. Take two. Kush Hydrating Sheer Tinted Lip Oil retails for 26 smackaroos. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw this, I was like, ha ha, sign me the f 
up, okay? Because I love me a good lip oil, all right? I am a notoriously dry, dry bitch. I need hydration, I need shine, and usually I find that from lip oils. Lip oils are the one product that I feel like I can never have enough of, between that and chapstick, those are the two. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, so pretty. And then I saw the swatches and then I was like, wait a second, what is going on here? <laughs> everything looks the same. Why even tint anything? And then I'm like, are you trying to gaslight me? Are you trying to say that it's different, but it's really not? It feels like it should be different, but it's really not. And you're telling me it's different, but it's really not because all of the shades look the same. But I digress. And I get it. I get it. It's a sheer tinted lip oil. But even, bitch, even when it's a sheer tinted lip oil, that means there's some pigment at least to be slightly different from the next color and this my friend is not different and they are telling us it is and I don't like it <laughs> I don't like it but also in the same breath I kind of want to try it too all right so let me describe what it is this is a non-sticky sign me up I love it flavored sheer lip oil formulated with hemp seed that delivers an intense hit of hydration and shine for smoother folded looking lips comes in six flavored shades. We have chocolate cake, which is a cocoa flavor, green dragon, a sage and peppermint flavor, pink magic, watermelon flavor, dream machine, guava flavor, orange crush, citrus flavor, and cookie, <gasps> cookie dough. <laughs> which is a Tahitian vanilla flavor. I need it. I need it. We're getting it. We're buying it. We're buying it, but I'm not gonna buy it right now. There's no point, there's no point. Because even though I love a good lip oil, right? I think if this was, I don't know, had a little bit more pigmentation to it, I don't know, just something that kind of makes it a little bit different from the already 50,000 lip oils that I already have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I want it, but like I don't need it on a day one release. Like I could wait. This is not like a me product, okay? This is more of like a tickle the ball sack kind of a product. Like it's a... <clears throat> That's really what I said. <laughs> Where was I going with that? I guess what I'm trying to say is, what am I trying to say, Teresa? Think about it. Choose your words wisely. I think what I'm trying to say is that it's not the main show. It's definitely foreplay. It's a little like a, like a nipple twist. You know what I mean? It's like, ooh, in the moment, but like, it's not the thing that's just gonna make you do a full release. <laughs> Yeah, I stand by that. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued, but also I feel very gaslit. <laughs> I feel like they're gaslighting me because of just the pure fact that all of this looks the same and I hate that. It's like, again, it's, what's the point? What is the point of it? We shouldn't be eating our lip products anyway. <laughs> And like they're making it sound very enticing and tasty but like in reality i feel like they could have just done one just one i think we would have got the point you know what i mean and then based off of that maybe made some others but give it a little more opacity i don't know you know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm just thinking too much about it in any case this is something that i would definitely pick up while on sale preferably the about to say the youtube sale <laughs> There is no sale on YouTube. What am I talking about? The Sephora sale, which has not been announced, but I feel like it's probably going to be coming up definitely within March and April for sure. And I will be ready because that's when I like to buy things on a discount. So yeah, so this is a, we're going to put a pin in it, but I definitely feel very gaslit right now. So we're going to use a little square gaslighting me because I feel like that's what they're doing. They're gaslighting us to make us feel that these are different. And you need to get all of them. And you need to get all of them when in reality, they could have just came out with one and you only really need one but also do you really need it. Next. Let's see, what do we got next? Ooh, Ensley Rain. So Ensley Rain Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette called the Groovy Garden. You know what it kind of reminds me of a little bit? Okay, do you remember the Venus XL? Uh, was it number two, the big one that kind of looked like the Natasha Denona? Oh, which palette was that? I don't remember. I'm just gonna put a picture right. <laughs> this one, that Venus XL 2 palette from Lime Prime was really, really good. And it actually, wait, hold on. Now I need to like look at it because maybe I'm tripping. Like it kind of reminds me of it in a weird way, but then it also kind of reminds me of like a funky kid sister, if that makes sense, right? Ensley Rain is the funky kid sister. It's definitely like the upgrade 
to the millennial version of the Venus XL2. Like, that's kind of how I see it. I have never tried anything from Ensley Rain, and every time I get close, I just don't do it. And I don't know why that is, because they make very beautiful palettes, and I've heard nothing but really amazing things. Actually, you know what? I think this might be the first palette I sincerely pick up because I really do like the overall aesthetic of it. I think it's really pretty and I love the color story because like I said, it reminds me of the Venus XL2, but just, I don't know, more refined, a funkier version. The 2024 version, if that makes sense. Like it just looks enticing. <laughs> How much is this? Wait, hold on, hold on. Is it even? I think it's out already. $69. All right. She expensive. Okay. But listen, if it's worth it, then I'll shut the f up about it. So this is a 21 color palette that features 14 velvety mattes, five sparkling multi-chromes, including one far out polychrome shade and two shimmering duochromes. So, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Can I, let me say something. That's not how you spell Ensley. There you go, girl. I got it. Do they not have it out yet? Oh, it's not even out yet. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> when is it coming out? Hello? Oh, oh, February 27th. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is gonna be the first one that I pick up. I really have always wanted to try it but i don't know like i said there's just something that always, always made me like stop because i never felt like fully committed like there'd be some parts of the palette that i really like but like not the whole thing and i think this is like the first one where i'm like you know what i actually really like this and i don't think i have anything in my collection because i know i got rid of the venus xl so i'm looking for something that kind of scratches that itch and I feel like this is it. But anyway, I would actually would love to hear from y'all about this. The ones that have tried Ensley Rain. Is there any, I don't know, specific palettes that um, are like the most amazing thing? Are there palettes that like you should avoid? Uh, let me know because I am thoroughly, thoroughly intrigued. Okay, like I get it that it's like $69, but is this something that is hand pressed? Is it that one? that expensive okay our eyeshadow palette been, uh, okay 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 so all right i see i see i see um where are your mc rain color uh, okay so our eyeshadow palettes are meticulously crafted by a specialized third, third party manufacturer okay all right and then they have hand pressed shadows as well okay got it got it all right yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm definitely going to pick this up. And, oh, current processing time. 15 to 20 business days. God damn. All right. Okay, so, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. On the bright side, um, by the time that I get this palette, it will definitely be spring. So that, <laughs> that's cool. I like that. But I like this. I love the artwork. And I think that's the one thing that's really making me solidify picking this up because, I think out of all the palettes that I have seen, the artwork has just been okay. I feel like a lot of their palettes have always just had like this element of fantasy that just made me, I don't know, like not love the artwork. And this is the first palette that I'm like, yes, okay. And I think it's probably because there's like, oh no, it is a person. Oh, see, that's done nice. I like that. I like that um, this woman has a mushroom growing out of her head. That's cool. I think this one is just done so much better than some of the artwork on the other palettes. I don't know, it's just not, not for me. But the color stories are pretty though. That they are. Okay, anyway, we're gonna try this. You're gonna see it in like probably three months from now. So be excited or don't be. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> But we're gonna call this all the multi-chrome because you do get a fair amount of multi-chromes in this bitch. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. You know what I actually also like about it too? It, this is like a basic bitch palette. I like that. I like that as a basic bitch palette. It speaks to me on so many levels. Anyway, next. Oh, oh, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So Janessa Myricks, uh, is, I guess, is showing that there's going to be a new groundwork palette coming out. But this one's going to have like mauves or mauves, however the you pronounce it, pinks and berries. And um, this is a multi-use palette that's talc-free and it's made with velvety pomades and coordinating oil absorbing shaping powders that easily define the eyes, brows, cheeks, and lips for $65. I, okay, there is something really special about the first groundwork palette it looks kind of intimidating and confusing and it definitely um kind of threw me for a loop when i first kind of like saw it and i wasn't really like in love with the swatches but when i actually like had it on my face i was like oh this is 
good. Like, it's really good. And I think it just pairs so nicely with the Lightwork palette. And I love that basically we're getting another version of the Lightwork, except it's just going to be in these different berry tones, which I, I love. I love pinks and berries. I really do. I think they just look so flattering on me and I'm selfish. So it's all about me. <laughs> So I love this. And I also love the fact that you can use this um, definitely for the cheeks. Although I will say that the pans, they are on the smaller side. So it's like, are you really gonna be using them for the cheeks? Maybe I could see for the blush a little bit more, but I know for the original Groundworks palette, it doesn't really make sense for me to try to like use it as like a proper face palette because the pans are so tiny and my brush is so big so it doesn't make sense for that but it is a really good staple like just neutral palette that is very reliable and dependable like your period comfy pants you know what I mean? so i love this i'm super excited for it and i sincerely hope that it comes out during some sort of sephora sale because i would just make it that much better <laughs> But this retails for $65, which I think is pretty much the same price as the first one, if I'm not mistaken. Hold, please. Let me just verify that. Yeah, $65. This is good. I like this. I like this a lot. And I'm super excited uh, to try this. And fingers crossed that this is the same exact quality as the first one. If not, they will be hell to pay. <laughs> but I feel like if it's anything like Danessa, she's consistent. <laughs> And we love that. We do. Uh, but listen, if you have never tried the Groundwork palette, it is, it's weird, but it's very good. And don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's actually way more intuitive than you think it is. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. I love it. <laughs> and I really also sincerely hope that they do release like volumes of these. <gasps> I would love that. I want all the colors. Give me all the colors. Give me all the colors. That said, we're going to call this, put it on my face. Put it on my mother face because I need this. Next. Okay. All right. Listen, hear me out on this one. All right. <laughs> hear me out. If you didn't see last Makeup Bingo, I talked about the new Dyson hair dryer, right? And the one that looks like a weird sex toy. Also like a back puncher thingy. It's weird. And I, I really don't want them to reinvent the wheel, right? Like I, I just don't want them to do it because it's just, what is this? I don't know what this is. It doesn't look comfortable. It's a no for me, dog. But when I see this stuff though, I'm not gonna lie. It like makes me want to buy it, which is so f***ed up. <laughs> because I already have this and they already got me with the like 90 style one, which I sincerely love. And it was like one of the best purchases I've ever made. But like, I don't, I don't need any more, but why do I find myself like going, I kind of want it. And I don't know, but first of all, I never liked pink. Like for the longest time, I was always very green and grungy and like, just like, ah, pink. Like I hated it. But now the older I get, this color pink, this particular color pink. I'm sorry, they consider this a rose gold. This goldish pinky gold, this, pink, just say rose gold, bitch. This, <laughs> oh, you know when it just like hits you and you're like, what are you saying? That's what happened. Hold on, I need a break for a second. The gold, the rose gold. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it has such, oh, the box looks good too. Oh my God. My stomach is just like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Buy this. This, oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me back it up. So first of all, this is only available right now in the UK and Korea. Coming soon to other retailers. So like US and Canada and Mexico. It looks like Japan. So you have three different versions, right? You have the air wrap, right? Which Every time I see the air wrap, I return my air wrap because it broke my hair. It me up. I'm like, do I do it? And I'm like, no, 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 no. But I get very close every time when they come up with a new color. I'm like, is this the one? <laughs> but I'm like, no, it's never going to work for you, bitch. Don't buy it. But then I see the supersonic hair dryer, which listen, I already have. I can't do another one. But they have the air straight though. And the air straight, I don't own. <laughs> This. But drunk me kind of wants to buy it, and I hate that. I hate that drunk me is like, if this was available in America. <laughs> and it's because I just, it's so stupid. I love, obviously, I love collecting things. Like, look at my room. Like, I, I love collecting weird and beautiful and, and fun and all kinds of. I love. Okay. <laughs> but not scat play. 
go figure. Anyway, point is, what is the point? After scat, I forgot everything that I was going to say. I got the giggles today. What is up with that? <laughs> All right. mm -mm. I hate that Dyson has this weird hold on me where I am just more intrigued by their products because of like their fun packaging. It's the same sh every time. They don't change anything to it, but they make it look so much more shinier and so much more prettier than the current one that I have that it just makes me want to collect them, which makes no sense. How many hair dryers do you really need? How many? How many straighteners? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really need that much. But yet here I am. <laughs> just be like, I'm listening. The Air Straight product though, it, it, it has intrigued me. And I think I saw Karen, was it Karen? I think Karen Harris had it. She had like an Instagram video or whatever of her, um, of her doing her hair. And it just, it made it look so magical. I love Karen and Karen has beautiful hair. And I was like, oh man, if my hair looked like that, maybe I should get this product. I didn't, but maybe I should though. <laughs> oh, it's actually a good thing that it's not available right now because I could see myself uh, picking up the airstrip. I don't need this. And I hate that sometimes certain colors just have a hold on me. But I, I swear, like when I was younger, I never really liked kind of like the pinky gold colors. But now I find myself like really liking kind of pinky gold. It's weird. I don't know what the f that's about, but I kind of love it. It just, I don't know, it looks so, and it matches the box so pretty. Oh my box. Even though I know that box is just purely for the f hair dryer. Still, I love it though. Oh, do you get like a little box for the other one? I feel like you should, right? That would be a miss if you didn't. In any case, listen, Drunk Me wants to buy it. Drunk Me is very close to buying it. Thank God it's not available in the US, but it's so stupid and I, ha I hate that. And I know I'm not alone because there are just some products that you have already, but as soon as they come out with a shiny, fancy new color, you're like, okay, here's my credit card. <laughs> it's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible, it's terrible. It's terrible, but I want it. I want it. <laughs> I want it. Drunk me would totally just buy it in a heartbeat and would let sober me worry about it later. Anyway, um, yeah. Next. <laughs> This is another product that a lot of people tagged me in and I got to see if it's still available because I kind of want to pick it up, but I didn't have a chance to pick it up because I was in the midst of moving. So I didn't get it. So I don't know if it, it probably is still available, but anyway, so y'all know me. Okay, or if you don't know me, hi, my name is Teresa and I have an unhealthy obsession with makeup bags and Spectrum Collections, they don't disappoint. They really don't disappoint. So this is the Disney Lady and the Tramp collection and it's cute. It like, it's cute. It's cute. It's adorable. I don't give a about the brushes. The Spectrum brushes are like man to me. Like, I don't know. I don't really find the appeal of them, but their accessories though, <sighs> me up, bitch. I want them all. I absolutely love the bag. I think it's so cute. I love the little puffs. The only thing is that I wish there was, I don't know, some sort of like brush holder or something like that. Because actually, let me show you. This, this is amazing. Okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite favorite brush holders like this is just everything i just i love this and then i also have this little guy too and i mean come on it's just they do such a good job with these little trinkets i can't i just i love it so when i saw this i was like yes i need to have this so let's see is it available but all right actually i'm getting ahead of myself so the, the whole collection retails for 110 dollars the four piece puff sets 24 bucks eight piece makeup brush set is 79 the makeup bag is 39. okay here's the deal i like it but i don't think it's worth 39 dollars though i think it's more of like a, a 1999 <laughs> i think 20 dollars less i would feel really excited about i don't think it's worth 40 bucks and the puffs while very cute i love that orange color i just don't think they're worth 24 dollars when i can just get a load on amazon for like $5. I can get like a box of a hundred. <laughs> so like, I, I don't love that. And then again, the brushes, like, I don't know, Spectrum brushes, they don't do it for me. But the bag though, the bag I love. Maybe if the bag was a little bit bigger, I could see the appeal of the $40, but that bag, it's like, I know I'm going to need another bag uh, <laughs> to fill because it's not going to be able to hold everything. So kind of based off that, it's like price wise, who are you fooling, bitch? Uh, not me. So yeah, I love this. Don't love the price. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. 
But ooh, actually, it could be both. It can go on sale, but I feel like it's definitely more appropriate to be even more Disney. So we're going to call it even more Disney, but this is something that you buy on sale. Like it's cute. I like it, but definitely, definitely not worth the f price tag. So yeah, she's cute though. I like this. I really hope that Spectrum keeps coming out with like really cute stuff, but I need to see more brush holders. That's what I want. I want more brush holders. I have a lot of brushes and they need to be held. <laughs> They need to be held and I want Spectrum to hold my brush. <laughs> that just sounded very weird, but you know what I'm talking about though. Actually now I'm on their website. What's their storage situation like? Yep, Lady and the Tramp is still $40. Sorry, bud. Ooh, they still have that goddamn hat. That stupid makeup bag hat, that Fantasia hat. That's the one I want on sale because I refuse to pay $70 for that. Like that's bullshit. $78 to get out of here. Spectrum, their prices are a little bit janky, but if the quality is good and it makes sense, like say the Mickey hand, bitch, I'm gonna buy it, but to be continued. <laughs> anyway, this is even more Disney. Next. Okay. <laughs> um, what the f is this? No. Okay, first of all, I immediately think of Michelle, right? Think of Michelle. Dolce Ivana, right? Luxury brand. I think I gotta call her up. But then I think, no, because I don't even think Michelle would fuck with this because this looks like some cheap ass bulls. First of all, it's like Tarte had a baby with Claire's or like Amazon asbestos kids makeup, alleged asbestos kids makeup. <laughs> and it's just so gross. It's gross. I don't understand. Also, the swatches on the arm. First of all, Tati should be suing somebody. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of giving Tati vibes, but like definitely more painted and just like, you could tell that those are not the true shades. Like I don't believe at all that you can get that pigmentation from this palette. This palette that I'm pretty sure it has a <laughs> alleged, allegedly, allegedly, because it reminds me of so many weird Amazon knockoff kids makeup kits, but I digress. The pan embossing, I'm not gonna lie, like the color story is just kind of like really unique and I feel like very different for luxury brands because usually luxury brands, you know, they cater to the ands, the neutrals. Maybe once in a while they'll have like a yellow or like a 10 man silver. I'm thinking about you, product quad. But for the most part, they're very neutral happy, right? So seeing this, it's like, oh, okay, there's like a little bit of color. There's like a little bit of something, but it's just like the whole execution is just so weird. And it just looks like just bad holiday tart. <laughs> Think, okay, one of my favorite palettes, one of my favorite palettes from Tarte was that pineapple. That stupid pineapple, but that pineapple actually had really decent quality. It kind of reminds me of that. And it's, it's again, it's those diamond shaped pants, but I just, I know that Dolce & Gabbana cannot back up the quality. Plus I think they're like low key racist, <laughs> not low key. I think high key racist, right? I just literally typed in and said racist. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. No, thank you. We don't love that. Oh, okay. I just, I'm sorry. I just read a whole thing. All right. Um, yeah, no, Michelle would not approve. <laughs> Michelle would not approve. So yeah, no thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm all set. Bye now. But seriously, this looks like hot garbage. The color story kind of piqued my interest as like a scotch, like a, like a tiny second, but like the whole overall packaging is just so trashy and not in a fun way. Like I'm trashy in a fun way. You know what I mean? Like you see me, you know, you're going to have a good time. This is not a good time. This is not a, a good time, Sally. All right. <laughs> this is something that is going to maybe, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to keep that thought in my head. All right. Anyway, it looks cheap as f <laughs> But besides the eyeshadow palette, which is $89, by the way, there's also a $29 waterproof eyeliner in seven playful shades, which, I mean, listen, it's very, very colorful and something different uh, for luxury brands, but it's just, this ain't it, baby. This ain't it. Um, so we're going to call this hot garbage and we're going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Next. Okay, this is gonna sound very stupid, okay? 
but I like, I kind of want this. Now, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So this is from Basma. This is their cream blush. This is a buttery soft, buildable cream blush and lip tint that melts into the skin for a naturally radiant finish. Formulated with avocado. <laughs> Formulated with avocado oil and aloe vera, vera, aloe vera extract in six different shades. We've gotten to that point of the video where I can't speak English <laughs> anymore. And it is what it is. Okay, so we have six different shades. We have bubblegum pink, fuchsia, mauve or mauve or whatever. Cherry red, peach, and burnt orange. Okay. I tried the Basma foundation stick and it was one of the products and I hated it because it just oh, it was patchy and it was dry and it just made me look awful. It made me look like there were people in the town that was going to run after me with pitchforks. Like I look like a monster on a hill. Okay. <laughs> not cute. Not cute. Not like a loving like at the end all the villagers you know are around me and, and we all celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> because they learn that they can look past my difference. Like, no, it's not that Disney ending. It's they literally pitchfork me to death. <laughs> Just that's what it was. Okay. And I was like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. I love their packaging. It reminds me of like a souped up Shantikai lip chic. It was really and it always broke my heart because like I loved everything about it, aesthetically speaking, but it just didn't deliver. So when I see this, I go, oh, it's going to be the same, same thing, but I, I just, I just, I want it. I just want it. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. And I hate that that's packaging just does that to me where it could be something that is completely just inferior and bull and then just really it makes me want to buy it even more because the outside of it looks so good. I am vain. I know. I'm trying to work on that this year. I really, actually, no, I'm not. I'm lying to you. I'm not working on that. <laughs> when I see this, it makes me excited. And I think I should give them one more chance. <laughs> I kind of want to try them. So they're currently available now. Hold on. Like, are they like available, available? Like available, available, available? Hold on. Let me go look. Don't see it. Where is it? Where are you, daddy? Oh, it is. It's available right now. Oh, f Let me think about it. Let me think about it. I kind of want to try. I love cream products. I really do. And listen, it could be like um, a say situation. When I first tried say, I hated everything, everything that they ever came out with. And then I finally found the bronzer and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then they came out with the foundation and now I'm kind of like low key loving their shit. So it could be something like that where maybe the foundation is just something that's just never going to work for me. And that's okay. That's fine. Cause not everything is meant for everybody and that's okay. But maybe this is the thing that I should really be checking out. And I really kind of love that hot pink fuchsia color. I don't know. There's just something about like an eighties blush moment that just sends my makeup into orbit. <laughs> it detaches from my body and goes around the goddamn sun. <laughs> love it. I love this. It's stupid. I want it. It's so dumb. I know my experience from last time and I hope that I don't have it again. And I know I should really think about that <laughs> when purchasing things, especially when things don't work out. But what can I say? I'm a sucker and I just want it. So I think I'm going to pick it up. Not think I am going to pick this up because <laughs> I'm curious. I want to know. And I could be trying it for science, but it's not even that. I can't even use that excuse. It's stupid and I f want it. It's stupid <laughs> that I just want it for the packaging because the packaging just looks so good. Ugh, bitch, f me up. Next. Oh, hello, Ann Palette. <laughs> These are f Ann Palettes, but I mean, I love them now. So, I don't know, where did I get that accent from? Okay, anyway. Vizier is coming out with the cool mattes the Cool Mats <laughs> Slim Pro. I thought there was going to be something substantial, like a burp that came out, but no, I just swallowed it up like a grenade. So these are $80, which I feel like are the standard uh, Vizier Art prices. So like no surprise there. Um, for the creatives, the collectors, the completionists, and the connoisseurs, the coolest, chicest collection of cool tone mats is making for runway return for spring 24. Never before available in our Slim Pro magnetized packaging. Our legend of the runways of Paris Cool Mats is back and ready to wow a whole new crowd of beauty mavens and artists. Freshly flown in from our Parisian atelier. How can I read this? But I couldn't say aloe vera before. <laughs> I'm mad 
planet myself, but okay, okay. Where was I? With a brand new bespoke batch of our artisan pigments, cool mats is back in an extremely limited edition run. This is your chance to own a coveted classic of sheet cools in the original color configuration, created in our proprietary Pro Lux formula. See it for yourself, why our frame by our famed soft saturation and beautifully buildable, blendable hues make Fizzy Art Matte Palace five-star favorites around the world. Okay. Again, mad. I'm mad that I can't speak English. <laughs> but something that I should have f***ed up at least six times, I was able to get in one and a half takes. Okay. <laughs> um, I like this. I, I like this. I love Fizzy Art. I really do. At first, when I first tried Fizzy Art, I kind of was like, mm, I don't really see the appeal. And then Mama Mel, when we did our video together, she gifted me the one, uh, the Violet palette or whatever. The Entendu, I think that's what it's called. Or that's how, I shouldn't say, I think that's how it's pronounced, not what it's called. I think that's how it's pronounced. And that palette kind of really like opened my eyes to wanting to try more stuff from Viseart. And so I've been kind of collecting the Slim Pro palettes for a minute now. I have quite a few. And I love them. I think they're just, they're so good quality. Like they are, I don't want to say, they're kind of like a no frills. They're no frills. Like their packaging is very cute, but it's not like it's winning any awards. Like when I think of Basma, right? Like that one, I'm like, that like is like eye catching. Like I'm going to stop in my tracks and look you in the face. Or like say Isamaya, like that weird, like sexy ghost packaging. Like I'm going to stop what I'm doing and pay attention to you. Viseart, I go, and I just keep it going. <laughs> Like there's nothing really pretty about the packaging because they don't give a sh because what they rely on is their formula and their formula is very, very good. Anytime I go on vacation, eight out of 10 times, I'd say I'm pretty much bringing a busy art palette because they're just good. They're good staples. Like I know I'm always going to get consistent quality that's going to last all day. That's what I like about busy art is that they have the best longevity and they're just really, really easy to use. Yeah, they might not swatch the best, but who gives a f if you're putting it on your eye holes, unless you're putting it on your face, then maybe you might have a problem. But if you're putting it on your eye holes, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, I love this. I like these colors. I think they're so pretty. And I think this is definitely something that I will probably pick up for sure. I don't think I have the bigger version of this one. Because if I have the bigger version of this one, I'm not going to get it. But maybe I do actually. I need to go look at what I have. And don't worry, I'm going to be doing a collection video. I know I mentioned it in my uh, walkthrough of like, this is where I work. <laughs> my beauty room. Um, but I am going to be making like a collection video once I have everything where I want it to be. And we also like, I don't know, fully complete the room right now. I know it sounds a little bit echoey because I need to, I need to fill it a little bit more stuff. Um, who gives a f at this point anyway. Um, <laughs> But I wanted to share with you that I am going to be doing like a full collection because I haven't done one in a minute and I will show you everything that I have, okay? Everything. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that one day in the future. In the meantime, this is a yes for me. And uh, I love it. It's a good Ann palette. They make delicious Ann palettes that are just staple pieces that you're, I don't know, just should be in everybody's collection. The kind of formula that you're just going to look good in no matter what you do. Like you cannot those palettes up at all. Even if you tried, you can't pick them up. Okay. Um, yep. She's an Anne. She's a basic bitch, all right. Next. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forget about this brand every time. And is today the day I try it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So Victoria Beckham has the Daily Cleansing Protocol. Oh, it's a skincare release. Okay. I didn't realize they did skincare. I thought it was just makeup and eyeglasses. Okay. A morning and night double cleansing discipline to transform skin and bring facial grade results and techniques to your skin. Excellent skin starts with excellent cleansing. Facial grade glean, glean. <laughs> See, there I go. I it up. Facial grade clean and developed with the globally recognized aesthetically, oh, aesthetically, fuck you, esthetician. Melanie Grant formulated to encourage considering, I also don't have my glasses on, so I feel like that's probably also me up. Not, you know, the drinks or anything. <laughs> anyway, Melanie Grant clen cleansed the skin. Melanie Grant and formulated to encourage considered cleansing and mindful exfoliation to reveal naturally healthy skin. Two transformative steps. First, a cushioning oil cleanser removes all traces of makeup, sunscreen, dirt, pollution, while hydrating and 
co-setting skin. Second, a lactic acid gel cleanser gently exfoliates and refines to imbue skin with a natural luminosity. Universal formula designed for dry, mature, sensitive, oily, and combination skin types with customizable to your skincare's needs. To your skin's unique needs, not your skincare's needs, your skin's unique needs. Pure excellence in every way. That's the Victoria Standard made in Japan. Okay, listen, $120. I don't know about that. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, I like the made in Japan part because I do love Asian skincare. Asian skincare is just oh, so good. Korean skincare, Japanese skin, like it's just, yes style is just, oh, so good. So good. And there's just so many good products that are affordable. So that's why I'm like $120, like, about this. I feel like I could probably find something similar to this at a cheaper price point, just saying. But any who's is. Um, I, I, I forget about Victoria Beckham. I've never tried anything from the brand, so I don't really know what their quality is like. But I have heard, when I do remember, <laughs> like in these instances, I remember that people do like this brand a lot. But I had just, I don't know, I just never tried anything from them. And I think purely for the fact that like nothing like looked super interesting or unique or fun or whatever like it just it just exists which i mean okay like we all exist i guess if you think about it like in the abstract but like, like do i really need it I don't, I don't know so i'm like kind of on the fence about it yeah i don't think i'm gonna try this <laughs> As interesting as it does sound, I just, you know, the $120 price tag kind of shoots me away. And I'd rather try something from the brand that is, oh, but she is a Spice Girl though. I do love a Spice Girl. Ooh, you know what? What does this set? The stream glow is naturally luminous, subtle yet eye catching. We call it Radiance Reinvented. Oh, what is that? I tried that. What the fuck is that? Hello, what are you? Ooh, reflecting highlighter stick. Okay bitch i'm listening Ooh. okay oh my god i kind of want to try it now okay sorry <laughs> i just feel like i'm like just staring at this ad for a product that's not even the thing that's on the bingo i want to call it even more skincare because it is even more skincare but i think it's more appropriate to be like you're alive you exist uh, because i honestly forget about this brand every time there's like i want to say a good chunk of brands now thinking about it, that I forget about until they post something. And I go, oh my God, hey, how's it going? <laughs> You're here. <laughs> so that's what Victoria Beckham is uh, for me. But hey, listen, if you have uh, tried Victoria Beckham, and you thoroughly love them or hate them or whatever if you're indifferent let me know what uh products you have tried because i am curious because maybe one day if i remember i'll pick something up but i'm just gonna drink right now <laughs> next the next product is from oh pharmacy I love pharmacy. Pharmacy is great. So this is the Honey Vanilla Lip Smoothie. It's a peptide lip balm formulated with vitamin C that locks the moisture and has a high shine finish. I like it. $22. It already launched. I love pharmacy. Pharmacy makes some really good, good and especially their honey line. Oh. And the fact that they have some peptides and in it. I do love me some peptides. I love some ceramides and I love some peptides. This is something that I just with but it's kind of a product that i'm like as much as i do love it or actually i've never tried it but as much as i love the idea of it i should say it's something that i don't necessarily need to have right now and it's like um if i'm in sephora and it's like right there as i'm like standing in line to check out that's when i would pick it up which actually should go on my bingo card like if this is on an end cap i'd pick it up which is way too long <laughs> But a girl can dream, right? Uh, but that's kind of like what this product is. Like if it's on an end cap and the wind is just right. I'm trying to think if I've ever tried actually a pharmacy lip product. Cause I know I with their cleansers and their moisturizers, like I'm all about that. Especially their moisturizers. Like they make some really beautiful skincare products. Um, but I don't think I've ever tried any lip products. First time for everything. As long as it's on an end cap. <laughs> As long as it's like within like that weird kind of catacomb of death, <laughs> you know, when you're in the Sephora, where they purposely put those things so that you just like add them to your basket because they're like, if people see that they are $20 and lower, they're going to want to buy it. And they're right. Okay. 
<laughs> They're right. They are. And I hate that. Um, because I am easily bought. Uh <laughs> I don't think I can say anything else other than I'm going to call this one skincare because it's it's skincare. But um, it also kind of applies to I buy it on sale. But really, when I buy it on sale, it's more of like an end cap purchase. <laughs> end cap purchase. But whatever. Okay, we're going to call it skincare. And we're going to keep on keeping on. Next. And there you have it, my teeny tiny little lambs. Um, I am so excited uh, <laughs> to be done with this because I just want to lay down. <laughs> I'm tired. Mama's tired. But anyway, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you are going to be uh, picking up anything or if you have or you're not or whatever. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, I want to say thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. As always, feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, the Reds, and to my beautiful, wonderful YouTube members and patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but incredibly disgusting, but beautiful and so funky. Um, fever dream of a garbage boat afloat. I <laughs> couldn't do without you. And I love your adorable little delicious faces. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed down below. And I will see you, little pumpkins, probably on Sunday, because that's when I'm going to be streaming. We're going to have a chill unpacking stream, have a couple of cocktails and unpack our lives. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye, pets.